Hello, welcome to your tarot and oracle forecast videos for the month of May. I'm going to be keeping these uh, forecast videos kind of short and sweet. So for these, I'm going to be using the Rider Waite tarot cards. I'm going to be drawing a card from the Angels of Light Cards of Clarity deck. And also from this Crystal Angels Oracle Cards deck from Doreen Virtue. So let's go ahead and see what the month of May has in store for you. Leo, I'm going to draw a card for your focus energy. Okay, so what you can focus on. It's also what you can be consciously aware of. I'm also going to be looking at the shadow card as the less aware aspects of our month or what we can sort of bring into the awareness that we may not be so aware of. Um, it's more of a subconscious aspect. Okay, so show me. Show me the energy cards for Leo. Leo, month of May. Okay. What is this one? Six of Cups. All right, so this is your focus. Interesting. Um, well, with the Six of Cups, I do, you know, attribute this to mean um, the past, right? Circumstances from the past. A lot of Leos may be reviewing things, um, whatever reason, or hopefully this serves you in a way. I try to sort of emphasize the value of being present in the present moment, right? So if you move too far into the past, you can A, become depressed or be filled with regret. And if you moved in too far into the future, you become worried and anxious, right? So the actual peace of mind is really um, in the present with being now, being what's right in front of you, what can you work on now, what's, you know, appropriate for this present moment. For whatever reason, it looks like this energy of going back into the past is serving you. You may um, be doing this in a way to not dwell on things that didn't work out, but review for one thing. Another aspect of this card, other than meaning like the past, can be a focus on children. Okay, this is a card of children. Some of you may, may be thinking or dreaming about having children this month. Um, you could be, this is a card of like family planning. You could already have children and it just looks like they're front and center in your world. If you don't already have children and you're not wanting to create a family and have children, it could also just be um, sort of loving the inner child. I think that is a very applicable theme here. Um, I get the love and the care with all of the cups because cups do represent feelings, right? And this is more of the pleasant aspects of that. Are you treating yourself or talking to yourself the way that you would a small child, right? You could be rewriting the script as well, being a good parent to yourself um, in a way that you wished you had been raised, right? So now you have the opportunity to mother or father yourself in the way that you had wished, sort of rewrite that script, okay? So these are several themes that you could um, be facing within the month of May. Also, gifts of the spirit is coming up with this card. Um, nurturing certain gifts that you may have, whether it be clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, um, claircognizance, or just a general sense of like connecting with spirit, connecting with your spirit guides, right? Exploring more of those spiritual gifts. That could be a theme as well. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the shadow card. Oh, all right. I love how all of these videos so far have really shown like a very severe sort of more um, lesser beneficial or more like quote unquote bad aspect. This isn't necessarily the most pleasant card. And I, I think that with the focus cards, they've been very positive, very, very light, right? It just looks like the shadow aspect is like not limiting yourself based upon your beliefs or your past experiences. I call this the analysis paralysis card. Okay. So it's like overthinking things, right? Being too much in the mind and not so much in the um, the spirit of now, that present moment. Okay, so yes, also this could be like 
restrictive thoughts, overthinking things, whether it's, again, moving too far into the future or too far into the past. This person is their own worst enemy as far as like getting in their own way with overthinking things. Okay, allowing things to just be and unfold without having to understand and decode everything. So that's the shadow aspect of something to be aware of. Also, I'm getting the sense of like needing more inspiration. Okay, needing to tap into spirit will then inspire you and therefore motivate you. Okay, so I'm seeing this as being the light and the shadow. For the month of May, I'm going to draw a crystal card. And um, if you do not have the crystal that I end up um, uh, pulling, you can meditate on that energy, or you could actually go out and buy that crystal, although I'm not advocating that. Just use the energy of the message, okay? So if you happen to have it, then great. If you don't, great. But meditate with that. Really sit with that energy, and it will help you in the month of May. Okay, let's see here. What have we got going on for Leos? Leos for May. Show me the crystal they can work with, the energy. Here we go. Lapis. Lapis lazuli. Interesting. One of the things that I'm seeing, even before I read the message on the card, is it looks like this sword, right? It's like the sword and the stone sort of energy. Again, this energy, this stone, this crystal, lapis lazuli, will help you become focused. There's that single um, sword of like intention, of clarity, and truth. Not confused or muddled by all of the other thoughts, right? And I am very much seeing that in the shadow card. Okay, so you have this one sword that sticks out in front of all of the other thoughts that are basically a distraction to what the actual essence or what that actual truth is. Listen to your own truth. And if you can't hear it for whatever reason, like it's becoming clouded with other people's truths or just too much confusion. Again, connecting with spirit. Also, listening to children. Children are very honest, right? And they will tell you the truth, whether or not it's done tactfully or not. They're just so innocent, right? Um, so again, listening to children, listening to your own inner child as well. Okay. It's also um, the Ace of Swords can represent conception as well. So if you're wanting to get pregnant, it's possible um, that Lapis Lazuli may help you with that. Okay, um, that's either here nor there. If it applies to you, then wonderful. I wanted to read the message here. Life changing epiphany or experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. Okay, freedom is what I'm seeing here. Freedom of thought, that clarity, that moment, that like, aha, this is the truth. This is what it is. Um, that It's life-changing. A life-changing epiphany or action experience, right? <sighs> okay. I'm trying to see if I can pick up any other messages here for you. Okay, life-changing experiences for some people may be healing the past, healing things from childhood, or again, having a child. Okay, I'm going to then draw an angel card to see what angels are going to be around the Leos. Okay, so show me the angels for... Leo for the month of May. Angel of Attraction. Perfect. Okay, so you can call upon the Angel of Attraction in the month of May to help you. This Angel of Attraction assists you by bringing into your life those people and situations that will best help you accomplish the goals you set up for yourself in this lifetime. Allow the energy to flow by asking for this angelic help and trusting this angel to create a pathway to your success. 
All right, perfect. So allowing that energy to flow and creating that pathway is getting out of sort of this restrictive state. You're then more in the flow of these cups. Sure. This is also, again, connecting to beings, connecting with your angels and your guides to help you. Again, spiritual gifts, gifts of the spirit or gifts from spirit. Okay. The angel of attraction, knowing that you are attractive, that you are uniquely made. Okay. And if you are single and you've been wanting a partner, this angel of attraction can bring in like with like. Okay. It's very important to heal the past or just old self concepts. You can do this with lapis lazuli and the angel of attraction to, to help overcome any self concepts or limiting beliefs that were stemmed from childhood or just the past in general, or even past lifetimes, really. Okay, Leo, so this was your message for the month of May. Thank you so much for watching this video and for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing to my channel. If you would like a personalized reading, feel free to contact me through my website, sungoddessashley.com. I will leave a link in the description box below. Otherwise, I will see you in the upcoming videos. Take care and be well.